Dad, I can't believe it. How could you do this to my mother? <laughs> Stop crying, girl. It's simply about the same race. Your race only seeks to increase its number of descendants who contribute nothing to the universe. Chi-Chi could not believe what Cauliflower and Vados were saying. Chi-Chi, closed by anger and sadness, approaches Vados to give her a strong slap. To everyone's surprise, Chi-Chi manages to hit her. Believe me, you are affected. You will pay for it. It's okay, Vados. The only one to blame here is me. Chi-Chi and Goten are right to be angry with me. Hey, Earthling, stop crying. You should help me name Goku's son. Stop it. Chi-Chi, you'll only seriously get hurt. You know perfectly well that you don't stand a chance against a Saiyan that surpasses the gods. It's okay, Dad. You better go with her if you want your future son. I would have loved for you to have been there when I was a baby, but unfortunately, you were in the other world after the battle against Cell. Goten is right. It's better that you go with them. I'll be fine. After all, I'm used to being alone. But that doesn't mean I'll forgive you. But I don't blame you either. After all, you are a Saiyan. I guess you just followed your instinct. Dad, I know we'll see each other in a while, so I'd just like you to give me a big hug as a goodbye. But I promise you that I'll take care of protecting the Earth in your absence. Goten is fine, Chi-Chi. You're absolutely right. I can't leave my future son who is on his way. Besides, I am sure that he will be a great warrior. So, together with Caulifla, we will raise him, train him, and turn him into the future savior of the 12 universes. Wow, I hadn't thought about that. Goku is absolutely right. Our son could easily become the most powerful warrior of the 12 universes. Wow, so they realized the potential that both of them had. After all, this... This was my plan, which they had entrusted me with day after day. Goten immediately runs to Goku to say goodbye, because he knew he wouldn't see him for a long time. Dad! <laughs> you are identical to me. You're gonna be very strong. <laughs> And that's how Goku, Caulifla, Kale, and Vados set off for Universe 6. Wow, this complicated situation is making me too hungry. Not so fast, Goku. Before I prepare for you the tastiest dishes of the salty planet, promise that you will accompany me to my brother Renzo. I want to introduce you as my future husband. Well, what am I going to do in the meantime, sister? You just come with us, sister. Well, if that's what you have to do before eating, it's no problem for me. Brother Renzo! Brother Renzo! Are you there? Answer me! Caulifla, sister! It's been a long time! Tell me, who is this boy? His name is Goku and he's my husband! What? But what did that little boy do? But if the... I know, brother, but our father would be very proud. Believe me. It is true, our father would be very proud. At first glance, this guy looks like a fool, but you can see that he has great inner power that he hides. I would even dare to say that he is equal or superior to the king, but who the hell is this guy? And where did he come from? Brother, if you wonder where he came from, let me tell you that he is a Saiyan of Universe 7, and he was the one who saved the 12 universes. His battle level is at the highest height, superior to that of the gods of destruction. What? That's right. Goku, show some of your power to my brother so that he is convinced. And that is how Goku becomes the Super Saiyan God Phase 2. Wow. I don't feel his power, but at first glance, you can see that he's at another level. I was wrong to think that he is as powerful as our king. My mistake. He is a million times more powerful than him. Wow, he is definitely amazing. If he wanted to, 
He could challenge the king to a fight and become the next king, and possess all the treasures of Sadala that Caulifla wanted so much. Forget it, brother. I'm not interested in treasures anymore. Now I just want to breed and train the son I'm waiting for from Goku. What? Well, after all, there is no better guy than him for my sister. Well, go ahead. I will prepare a delicious and exquisite feast to celebrate this news. Oh, yes. Very good. Well, I think they'll raise the reincarnation of the Archangel Brussel just fine. Nine months later. <laughs> Goku and Caulifla during those months had been talking about a name for their future son, which they would call Brusel. And it is said that the day that Brusel was born, the king and the prince of Sadala had prepared a great ceremony to celebrate the birth of the son, the birth of the savior of the twelve universes. There were banquets, parties all over the planet, that day, the Twelve Gods of Destruction were invited to the Great Party with their angels. It is said that at the moment that Brusel was born, a strong shudder was felt in every corner of the universes. The angels were very happy to receive the reincarnation of the Archangel Brusel. And that is when Vados told Goku and Caulifla that their son was the reincarnation of an ancient Archangel. To be more exact, this was the first angel even before Daishinken. Goku and Caulifla were very surprised and excited. However, in a world beyond the world of emptiness, an ancient evil god, which was called Themor, was witnessing the situation of the birth. The time has come. At last we find you, cursed Zeno. At last, I can make you dust with my own hands and avenge the disappearance of my father. I will lock you in this dreadful world. I will finish off Daishinken and Zenosama. After all, their fathers no longer exist. Angels, reassume your true mission is to protect Brussel. If you must sacrifice your existence, do it. As you know, you have already noticed the presence of Themor. Daishinken, what's going on? An evil presence is approaching this place, and its specific target is your newborn son! That's why we all come here to protect him. Margarita, take Goku's son and hide in Xenosama's palace, inside his secret dimension. And don't come out of there until we go to look for them. Okay, father. What do you think you're doing? I see that Daishinken's clown brought all the losers. I wonder who the hell is escorting the new Xenosama? By the way, my soldiers should be arriving at his palace right now. But how the hell did you know about Xenosama's palace? Shut your mouth, you conceited bastard. No one gave you the authorization to speak. Now, all of you will pay for it. Especially you, Daishinken. Being locked up for two eternities in that world wasn't pleasant at all. But first things first. I have to annihilate Brussel. I can't allow him to develop. Give me that little boy you're holding. Not so fast, you bastard. I won't allow you to lay a finger on my son. Also protect my son with my own life. Caulifla, run away with Daisy and our son. I'll take care of this guy myself. Son Goku, that power is not enough to stop the more. When it comes to defending my son and protecting the lives of my loved ones, I simply have no limits, Daishinken. I must confess that your level amazes me. But once again, Daishinken, no one gave you permission to open your mouth. <laughs> well, that's more like it. That clown has no idea of anything but babysitting a smug little runt who's good for nothing. And that's how the great battle begins. Come on, gods. We have to help Goku. We would only be in the way if the Great Father was knocked unconscious in an instant. We are too much. 
We should rather go to protect Xenosama. Damn, what impotence. I must warn Universe 7 of this great threat. Whis, take me to Vegeta and the others. Goku will definitely need our help. Margarita, take that child away from this place. More respect for my Archangel Brusel. I see you're a very skilled guy. I must admit, it's been a long time since I've had such a tough battle. I must admit that you have a good level, but I haven't even used 50% of my power yet. Well, let me tell you, neither have I. This planet definitely can't take the battle. We better go to the Void World. That's the only place I know we won't limit ourselves. If you care so much about this planet, I'd better destroy it at once. This is how Themor explodes the planet Sadala in an instant. However, Daisy sheltered Caulifla and Brusel, protecting them from the Great Explosion. Goku, very worried, observes that Caulifla was well with his son. Goku, with his eyes, tells Daisy to leave at once. This won't stay like this! You've only made me hate you more! That's it! Fill yourself with hatred! Hatred grants ambition! I promise to turn you to dust, you bastard! This is how Goku teleports to the Void World, which was still destroyed after the Tournament of Power. However, moments before the explosion, Daishinken managed to escape to Xenosama's palace. Fortunately, Xenosama was fine. Those who had gone to attack him were no match for the two Xenosamas, and they had simply disappeared. I see Goku is currently fighting with all his strength against Themor. What Themor doesn't know is that we are two Xenosama. Goku has little chance of defeating him. The best thing would be for me to go help him. After all, he was the one who rescued me and helped me at that moment and brought me here. Don't say that, my friend. We promise to be together always. Don't worry, my friend. As long as I'm in your memories, I will always be there. Your Highness, we will not allow you to expose yourself to danger. However, at that moment, Vegeta, Beerus, and Whis appeared in the palace. Uh, that Kakarot bug is always getting into trouble. I was also training in the time room all this time. I couldn't stay behind anyway. Well, then go help him for once. However, a strong impact would shake all the universes. Damn, that key is from... Damned Mephino, weren't you supposed to be dead? <laughs> I was supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs>